Welcome to Ask a Best-Selling Author. Um, my name is Angela Loria. I'm the founder of the Author Incubator. I am joined today here at the Author Castle by best-selling author Danielle Miller. Danielle is the author of Smarty Pants Branding, and we're going to talk today about uh, there's often a line in the sand between branding and actual cold, hard exchange of cash. <laughs> um, so I think people think of sales as like the the dirty, red-headed stepsister of branding. Hang out, Daisy. <laughs> well, yes, well, you're the, you're the very clean red-headed stepsister. But like branding is fun for people. People yeah. get excited. They can't yeah. wait to do a new logo. Sure. Like you get kind of the sexy stuff. Mm. But ultimately a brand works if it's actually closing business. Right, right. So let's talk about how does a book, if a book is a part of how you're expressing your brand, how does that help you translate the attraction of a beautiful brand and great messaging and great ideas into people who hand you their credit card? Because mm, <laughs> that's what you want. Yeah. Um, you know, having a book, I think it shortcuts the trust factor in a huge way because somebody has taken the time to buy something that you have written and you would hope at that point they're going to sit down and actually read it you know they, they've invested that much in it already so they've already made a little investment with you and mm -hmm. so now they're going to be reading what you have to say and it's going to resonate with them and so when they call you and say hey i want to talk to you about you know whatever it is that your book is about your message there's already you've already opened up the conversation it's it's an easy conversation to have now and your close rates go up so much because you've already developed that relationship to an extent i think that's totally true and i tell a story in my book the difference about how i read brooke castillo's book if i'm so smart why can't i lose weight mm -hmm. and i loved her method i was like this is the answer to weight loss and in there, she mentioned this phrase I'd never heard of, which was weight loss coach. Like I had personal trainers, I'd had nutritionists, I'd had Jenny Craig representatives, like all of it, but I didn't know what that was. So I Googled weight loss coach and I hired some lady who lived near me who called herself a weight loss coach. And she did not do all the things in Brooke's book. Mm -hmm. And this is when it occurred to me. So I, like I hired her for a couple sessions. And then I emailed Brooke and I was like, look, I don't care how much it costs. You're the only person I can work with mm -hmm. because if I just go to some other weight loss coach, she's going to want to try and do it her way. But I already know your book is the answer. Right. Yeah. So when you're the author of a book, if somebody likes the smarty pants branding method, mm -hmm. they can't find some other branding expert on Facebook and be like, hey, can you do Danielle's book with me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it will work. Right? So you really become an I'm going to do this or I'm not going to do it. It becomes a binary choice right. instead of I'm looking at three or four different weight loss coaches or branding coaches, right. you become the only person they can work with. Yeah, you've already started to develop that relationship. And again, when you probably talk with Brooke, she was exactly the same as she sounded same in her book. Same in the book, yeah. So, More you, expensive. You, yes, well. <laughs> <laughs> but her brand was exactly the same. Yeah. And so that's another key, you know, key component of that is to make sure that your brand is exact. When somebody gets on the phone with you, they should expect you to be exactly as you have per put yourself out there in your book. Right. Be the person who's going to hire you yeah. when be, be the be the person that the person would hire you um, when you're writing your book. Mm -hmm. You don't want to act one way in your book and then when you get on the phone with them, act a different way. Right, exactly. Awesome. So a book can help you close business. If you have a book that's helped you close business, go ahead and pop it in the comments below. We want to see what you're up to. And if you're thinking about writing a book, um, ask any questions you have. Uh, any comments you want to share and please do share this video.